Hello everyone, Richard here. I'm kind of excited today because my son and daughter-in-law went fishing in the lakes of Austin, Texas, and they caught some really nice fish. They caught some bass. Any kind of, of freshly caught fish that's not store-bought has, re has really good flavor. So today, we're going to cook, bake some fresh bass. Let's do it. is a really light flavored fish so you want to go easy with the flavorings you don't want to overpower the, the flavor of the fish with like with strong flavors um, the maximum the strongest flavor I would use would be garlic okay I love garlic so garlic and fish fresh caught fish is excellent so what you do is you salt and pepper it liberally the inside don't forget to uh, to salt and pepper and, and spice the inside. Maybe even stick a couple of pieces of lemon in there. Just like that. And of course the garlic. This is pretty simple. You just put it on there, make it look, you know, you put circles on a, you put lemon circles and tomato circles on a piece of fish. That's pretty much what we're doing here, so. And little pieces of, little, little bitty pieces of garlic, which will give it a really good flavor. And if you like to barbecue, you can do this. You could definitely do this on the barbecue um, because it will give it uh, a slightly smoky flavor to it. And you wrap it in foil and you put it on the grill and grill it up. And you can even probably hear it uh, cooking when it's on the grill, bubbling up. So I would put this just like this in the oven. Let me do this other piece here. Okay. Smaller piece. A little bit of white wine. Adds a nice little flavor to it. Like that. Don't be afraid to, you know, to give it a good bath, which is fine, because all, all of that will all the flavors will concentrate when you cook it. And you know, um, when when I was a teenager, uh, we used to go fishing in this uh, freshwater lake in uh, in Camado, New Mexico. And we would catch um, trout okay and they weren't very big fish I guess because the government or whoever was in charge of the of, of the um, of the lake they would put really really small uh, fish in there so we would catch the fish and as soon as we got it off the hook uh, we had a fire waiting there to uh, you know to use and we would just Get the fish, wrap it in foil. Well, first of all, we, we, would, we would clean the guts out of there. You would get it, wrap it in foil, and put it on top of the coals. And man, that was the best tasting fish I ever had, probably. Even the best Italian or any kind of fish that you could possibly buy in a store. I mean, fresh caught fish, which this is a lot, is going to be a lot like that. It is really flavorful and I mean, my mouth's already watering now that I'm getting this ready because um, it's pretty good. So uh, there it is. You just do that. You add the you add the spices, the lemon, the tomato slices, salt and pepper, garlic, extra virgin olive oil, and some white wine. Wrap it up in a piece of foil, and after you're done eating it, you can just throw it all. You can use it as a plate and throw the foil in the trash can. So. You put it in there for about maybe 20 minutes or so at about 370. And uh, when it comes out, you will enjoy the fruits of your labor. Okay, the bass has been in the oven for a while now and the smells coming out of that oven are really good. We're going to open it up and see what it looks like. And see what has happened here. Oh yeah, very nice. So this is it. And like I said, you can, you can also grill this on the grill. And you see that? Look at that. All the juices of the fish have come out of it. And it is rolling deep. It's rolling deep. Mm, mm, mm. Smells really good. 
So we're going to plate this, and we'll come back, and we'll taste it. Now we've come to the end, which is actually a beginning. We're going to taste this. The skin is nice and flaky, and the meat, if you can see that, it's nice and white. Hmm. Okay. The lemon, nice and tart. The wine gives it a brightness. The salt brings it all together. And what can I say? Thank God for wild fish and vegetable. Mmm. So I'm going to go ahead and eat this slow. Try it out. You'll like it.